So for bank A, we have a rate of 10%, so that means 0.1 as a decimal. Um, we are, have a capital T, we don't even have to calculate it, we already know it's going to be 360 payments. And our um, starting loan amount is going to be for this one $90,000. So I need to find out my little p. And remember, little p is going to be r over n, and n is going to be 12 because it's every month we're making payments, so it's monthly compounding, so 12 for my n. So 0.1 divided by 12. And when I divide those, this one I'm going to use, So 0.1 divided by 12, and I get a repeating decimal, so I'm definitely going to want to store that or something. Maybe you don't need to yet, so 0 0.0083 repeating, and then I need to calculate my Q. So Q is 1 over 1 plus little p, and so I can go ahead right away and add the 1. And then do the inverse, so 1 over x, and then that's my q, and that I, and that I will want to store. So 0.9917, and it goes on. So that I'll store on this calculator. I push store, and the number where I want to store it, and that's all you have to do. It doesn't give you any feedback, but I stored that one in number 1. So now we'll go to the formula. And I have $90,000 equals whatever my payment is times Q. And I already stored Q in bin 1, so I'm just going to write it. And then I have bin 1 again to the 360 minus 1 over bin 1 again minus 1. And that's my whole formula. It looks a lot shorter when I just put what bin I stored my Q in. So remember, start up here. Let me change my pointer. Start up here. So I have um, my Q, which is still sitting on my calculator, raised to the 360th power. So I'm going to go right here to this to the button, to the 360 equals, and then subtract 1 equals, and that's my numerator, so I'm going to store that in, uh, oopsie, I'm going to store that in bin 2, so my entire numerator I stored in bin 2, and then I need to do my denominator so that 1, so I have to recall 1, minus 1, and I get that value, I want to do the 1 over x and multiply by what's in bin 2. So I'll do that. 1 over x, I get a, a snow, very few decimals. And then times recall 2. And there I got 114.9. And that I have to multiply by bin 1. Okay, so times recall 1. Okay, so I multiplied by Q, so I have the 113.95, etc. And then I'm going to take the inverse of that and multiply by the 90,000 equals. And so what I get now for my F is, or my payment amount is 789.81. 
789.81 or $789.81. Now to find the total that I paid, because on some problems you will be asked to do that, you take the 789.81, so I'm going to retype it in, 789.81, so that the pennies are, are accurate, and then multiply that because I made 360 payments of that size, so times 360, and that gives me the total amount that I paid for this loan, so it's a 284 331.60 so $284,331 and 60 cents and then to find out how much of the amount is interest I just subtract off how much did I take the loan out for I took the loan out for 90,000 so I subtract off the 90,000 and I get the total interest paid would be 194,331.60. So $194,331.60. That's crazy expensive to buy a house. We pay a ton of interest to do it.